celebrate Halloween. Happy uh, almost Thanksgiving. Well, we love Halloween around here and it's personally my favorite holiday and making special Halloween treats is so much fun. And we want to do something a little weird this year. So we're actually using quail meat instead of human meat in this recipe. It makes for a savory, delicious meat pie. And it's always fun to try new things. So let's get cooking. <clears throat> Uh, Sir Jimmy Wong here attempting a Cockney accent for the remainder of this voiceover. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> All right then, heat a large pan of a medium high heat. I'm waiting till it's piping hot. Add the quail to the pan, and then add the chopped bacon around the meat. Flip the quail after three to five minutes. Cook until you get a nice sear on all sides. Set the meat aside, and it's time to deglaze. Pour in the white wine, and quickly light it up. <laughs> Reduce the heat to medium, and scrape the tasty bits off the bottom of the pan. Okay, this starts my throat, back to normal. Now add the chopped carrots, onion, celery, garlic, bouillon, salt and pepper, add it at the same time, and vegetable stock. Stir until combined. Cook the veggies until the onions are nicely browned, and then add the deboned quail meat back in. Stir in the flour to thicken the pie filling. We prepared an easy pie crust dough using our own cookbook recipe in the Face to Fiction kitchen. It's our cookbook. You can buy it at feastofiction.com. Okay. On a floured surface, roll out the dough to 1 8 inch thickness. Add a little more flour if the dough gets sticky and cut out circles for the base of the pie. Place the circle of dough inside the pie dish and gently mold it in place. This recipe makes enough for three small pot pies or one large one. Once the crusts are prepared, add in the pie filling. Top each pie with another dough circle and pinch the edges together to connect them. Cut off the excess dough and clean up the edges until you're ready to crimp the crust. Crimp the crust edge by placing your thumb on the inside edge of the pie and pinching it around with your other hand. Circle around till you're done. Cut three small slits, so say that three times fast, in each pie crust with a knife to allow steam to escape while the pies are baking. Now brush each pie crust with an egg wash, and our little pot pies are ready to bake for 45 minutes at 350 degrees. Voila! It's so spooky! It's Mrs. Lovett's pies from Sweeney Todd, but instead of human flesh, let's use quails. Kinda gross-ish, but actually really tasty. So that's the nice Halloween twist we're putting in an already spooky dish. You ready? Ching! <gasps> All right, ah. Ooh, fluffy. Mm -hmm. Oh my mm. goodness, yes. Mmm. I'm gonna get some of that quail meat. Mmm, la very la. nice. I love a good meat pie, seriously. Wow. There's so much about that flaky crust, all the veggies on the inside that taste that savory meat. Mmm, I love a pot pie. Me too. I used to get those ones when I was a little kid, they were like 40 cents in the frozen food section. <laughs> really? Remember them? Yeah. Banquet. Mmm. Chicken pot pies, and mm -hmm. this, to make one from scratch, my very own personalized pot pie out of quail meat, ooh. And we have these really cute things that we did them into. I know this, you know, obviously C-3PO is not a part of the Sweeney Todd universe, but who cares, it's Halloween. Mm -hmm. Match it all up. <laughs> it's Sweeney Todd in costume. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a coquette dish. Uh -huh. We had it, we used it, and listen, it makes no difference. This is amazing. It does make a difference. Look how fun it is to eat out of these mm. little things. It's so cute. The perfect little size for these little pot pies. We definitely put these meat pies in costume this year. So. Yeah, exactly. If you don't have these little coquette dishes or a quiche dish, mm. you can make one big pie. Yeah, exactly. You can make one big meat pie. All of this will fill up one pie or three little ones. I can't stop eating it. This is so good. I know it's really good. It's very flavorful. Mm -hmm. The quail kind of tastes like chicken, <laughs> um, which is great. I love a chicken pot pie. Now I love a quail pot pie. Yeah. And it it's really good. The crust is really flaky. We did the really cute um, crimping well, of the pie around crimps, yeah. it. But I guess you could do any type of um, little pie decoration you want. Yeah. There's a ton of them online. We've done a couple in a bunch of different videos. Yeah, just watch Ashley's amazing technique as she forms around mm. each pie. It's always a fun time. Yeah. Um, big shout out as always. This has been one of those recipes that's been requested for a long, long time. And it was more really just like, hey, how do we how do we do this? Because we can't put humans in here, and it kind of defeats the purpose of the flavor. But you know what? How about just a really good pot pie? You can mix up the meat a little bit. Obviously, you don't even have to use meat. And please do not actually eat humans. This is not a musical. This is real life. These pot pies are meant to be edible, not illegal. Mm 
Mm -hmm. If quail's not your jam, you could sub any type of meat cooked with the bacon and the wine. It'll be very flavorful. Yeah, I love that. And just so good. And the common question we always get is just like, hey, I don't want to use wine because it's alcoholic and I'm not 21. Here's the thing, when you're cooking with wine in that sort of way, you're, you know, you're having it, you know, sit in this pot for so mm -hmm. long, it doesn't actually have alcohol in it by the time you eat it. So it's right. very safe, it's just there to add flavor because yeah. you're cooking all of the alcohol out of it. Yeah, you're basically reducing it down to like mm -hmm. nothing. Yeah. This is really good, guys. I hope that you guys will make this because yeah. not only is it great for Halloween, but it's great for any time of the year, especially fall, when you want something warm and comfort food like, ooh, mm -hmm. I used to love pot pie as a little kid on a oh, fall day in Texas, pie. my friend. I, I love it. it. I love it indeed. And yeah, and this is delicious. It is really delicious. Super simple, looks great, fun presentation, mm -hmm. fun to eat. All right, thank you so much, everyone. Please check out our new cookbook, The Feast of Fiction Kitchen. You can go to feastoffiction.com, find out where you can purchase it, and like Ashley said in the past, a big shout out. If you've already bought the book because you are out there, you're making those recipes. We're getting them in our Instagram DMs, in our yes. Twitter DMs, and we are so grateful to see them. It's so cool to see other people taking our work and shooting it to the next level. Thank you guys so much for all your renditions. You know, if it inspires you to get in the kitchen, mix it up a little bit with yeah. one of the recipes, that's what we're here for. That's why we're doing this today. Mm -hmm. That's why we've been doing this for the last nine years. So <laughs> thank you guys, as always, if you've already purchased the book. And thank you guys always for supporting us from the beginning, before there was a book, before there was a cool new set. Yeah. We uh, are only here because of you, and we couldn't be more grateful. So thank you so much. We have the best audience on yeah. YouTube. And the book's perfect for Halloween, Thanksgiving, for all those events. And you know, hey look, you want an early Christmas gift? This thing's perfect. Yes, it really is. It's a perfect gift. It looks great on a coffee table. It looks great on a kitchen counter. <laughs> and a huge thanks, as always, to our patrons at patreon.com slash Feast of Fiction. Without you, these lights wouldn't be on. This set wouldn't be here. That cookbook wouldn't be done. So we thank you all deeply from the bottom of our hearts. You are the reason that we're able to keep this going every single day from week to week. And hey, you know what? You want to recommend a recipe? Where should they post it? Be sure to let us know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Happy Halloween.